before I forget, wholesome one, I will leave this up to you. And uh, you know what? I shouldn't put you on. I, I'm not going to put you on the spot in front of everyone. Put me on I, the spot. I'm going to. Okay. You brought up tight ends before. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so our guy, Corey Bradup, he's on from the Hawkeye at the Storm. He's our Iowa contributor on our Iowa show. Oh, I know what this is going He wants a debate on tight end you. Tell him I'm here every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard okay. Time. And whenever he wants some, he can come get some. Okay. I will respectfully debate a Midwesterner. I will never share the screen with a Tallahassee man yeah. or woman, but I will respectfully go toe to toe with an Iowa guy. Sure. This came up, I don't know, six months ago, whenever it was, um, when he just kind of in passing said Iowa produces the best NFL tight ends. And I went, mm, wait a minute, hang on just a second. And he was like, well, come on, you know. Noah Fan, TJ Hawkinson, Dallas Clark, da, 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 da. And I said, well, I said, first of all, anytime you get into this whole DBU or tight end U or whatever, you got to, first thing in my mind you have to distinguish is, are we talking about right now? Right. Are we talking about all time, all time, all time, all time, going back to the 30s, 40s? Because if you do that, then the Notre Dame is definitely in the conversation too. They produce some really good yeah. too. Or are you talking, you know, you got to specify the time, the last 20 years, whatever it is. That, that's the only thing I would ask of both of you. I would say, okay, we need to have an agreement over, and I will have a blast moderating that one. I'll be typing away and looking up stats. and Mark, whenever he's ready, I have no problem. Okay. I, think that, I think that would be a healthy debate because it's not about demeaning one or the other. It's just no, he, he has his guys that he thinks are good, and they're doing very well right now. I'm, shout out to them. I mean, they were one of the first programs to have in the same draft two tight ends picked in the first round. I, again, I have no disrespect towards them. I, I I think that Miami is tight end you, but I think Iowa is number two. I would say Notre Dame is number three. Uh, SC at one point was kind of spitting them out, but then they didn't really produce well at that yeah. level. Stanford. Um, Stanford was kicking butt for a bit, and then they kind of, you know, waned off there. Uh, I think the culture at Iowa is 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 also the upfront guys. You know, they don't really glorify their backs. They don't glorify their quarterbacks, their receivers, their corners. They glorify if your hand is in the dirt. Defensive ends, defensive tackles, offensive linemen, tight ends, fullbacks. Those guys are really glorified and respected at a place like Iowa. So. I definitely see why he would take a lot of pride in that. And I would love to to, to debate him on it. And yeah, bring him, sure. Sweet. Okay. I will let him know. We are here. Okay.